guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going into joanne fabrics and seeing what they have for christmas if you're new to my channel when i do my shop with me videos generally i call them the best of whatever store i'm going to so this is the best of joanne fabrics I share my very top recommendations just to streamline the process and give you my top picks, why I like them. And so that's what we're going to do today. And Joann's is my favorite craft store, one of my favorite home decor stores in general. So I'm excited to head in there. Let's see what they have. So off the bat, I see that the decor is 50% off today. They have a bunch of really pretty bottle brush trees. I'm very drawn to these neutral ones, but they also have red and green. And in case you're not really familiar with Joanne Fabrics and their sales, their, their original pricing is very, very high, but they are always offering really good sales. They also flip-flop their sales, so early on in the season, you might see something like a 70% off, which tends to be more of an end-of-season sale price at other places, but at Joann's, because they do that flip-flopping, you have the opportunity to snag something at a really good price early on, which I love. They have a lot of bells this year. I feel like this one is so on trend with the little leather strap. And um, this one I thought was pretty reasonable because at 50% off, this would be $10. I also love this Nutcracker in the natural finish. It's actually more of a stain than a natural finish, but it just has a very earthy, simplistic look, which I really love. I thought this door knocker was really fun. It's not very often that I come across a door knocker that looks really sophisticated. So I thought this one was just so pretty. And then they also have this really large bell. I have a similar bell that I got several years ago from Kirkland's that you guys ask about a lot. So I've never been able to link it, but this is very similar. Just make sure you get one that doesn't have a dent. Now this artwork, you guys, is so nice. We've been asking Joann's to do less of the wordy kind of farmhousey stuff and more sophisticated style pieces. And I feel like they're listening because that is just beautiful. And these candle holders, I won't lie, the price is so high, but these are very heavy and good quality and a really nice traditional classic piece that'll never go out of style. Before you guys head into your Joann Fabrics, definitely check their website. A lot of times they have additional coupons on their website that you can stack with whatever sale is going on. Not always, they don't always let you stack, but sometimes you can, so definitely make sure you check the website before you head in. Do these deer look familiar to you guys? I bet they do because these are very, very popular from either Crate and Barrel or Pottery Barn. So this is kind of a dupe for a high-end item and I love when Joann's does that. They always dupe really, really expensive stuff and when you can get it on a really good sale, it ends up being cheaper. I am so happy they brought back these wooden mushrooms. If you were on my channel last year, I hauled these, I think, um, or maybe I didn't. I can't quite remember, but I did buy these last year to use in my Christmas decorations, and I had to hunt these down. I drove 45 minutes to get one because they were sold out in my nearest locations and online. So if you like these, I would move quickly on them, and I do actually use these as year-round decor. I don't feel like they're super specific to one season, so that was another reason why I wanted to buy them. They have really nice stockings. This felted one is really pretty and at $10 on sale, you really can't go wrong. They also have these really pretty stocking holders. They're not actually as heavy as they look, but these are a dupe for some Our House uh, stocking holders. So again, the look for less. Now, if you guys didn't catch my last two haul videos, I did haul some of these bottle brush trees. I'll link those videos down below in case you missed them, but they have such a nice selection and I feel like a color for everyone. Mm -hmm. 
Joanne's candles are so nice and very strong in my opinion, or I've experienced very strong ones. I can smell this little aisle here throughout the store, even though these all have lids on them. And at $10, they make a really nice and affordable gift or just something to treat yourself and your home too. I also always love their doormats. I love the deer and I also really like this let it snow. I'm definitely eyeing this for my house because I feel like I can leave that out all winter and it's so neutral and simple. So I'm loving that. I also get a lot of ribbon from Joann's for Christmas. I have tons of this exact burgundy velvet ribbon. I will say I usually buy it after Christmas. There's usually a lot of ribbon left here at my store when the season is over. So I get it for a dollar or two. That's how I have so many. But if you need some ribbon now, I do love those. These are some of the nicest stockings that I have seen at this price point. You get, it says buy one, get two free. So you could get three stockings for $20. They're chunky knit, they look handmade, they're substantial. I love them. Now we're gonna take a peek at their ornaments. They are buy one, get two free. These are all of the glass ones. I'm a details kind of gal. I love to have all these special ornaments on my tree each year, not just plastic and, you know, just simple ones. I like these fun ones. So like I said, I will show you a few of my favorites. This little church could not be more cute. I actually have that in a larger size. I love this felt ornament. I think that color is really pretty. They have some brown tones, which I know are very popular this year. And this matte one is so nice. This brown mercury glass or kind of bronzy color is definitely my favorite one. And these are $9.99 full price, just so you guys know, even though they are on sale. This one is so pretty. I picked up some just like that last year from at home. And I cannot get over this Christmas tree. That is one of the most beautiful ornaments I have ever seen. I also thought these little wood mushrooms were so cute. And these glass ornaments are a dupe for some Pottery Barn ones, but the glass on these is very thin. This light up tree is so fun. And they have another version of that kind of clear bulb with the gold etching. I love these wooden nutcrackers and just the different wood ornaments that they have here. I definitely feel like I need to add some texture to my tree i have a lot of glass so i'm just kind of seeing what textures are out there and i'm really drawn to the woods and the felts and things like that their tree collars are very nice this looks like a legitimate weathered basket and these will be i think 30 dollars it's a little confusing what their sales are right now because some things say 50 percent off and others say buy to get three free so just check the website before you go so you know what to expect and I noticed these dog ornaments, they are so funny. Uh, I'm just wondering where Chip and Dory are though. I was surprised not to see at least Chip because usually around Christmas time, you see a lot of Scottish Terrier stuff. So um, it's okay though. I have a ton of Scotty ornaments in my collection already. And these candles, by the way, are a dupe. At least the jar is supposed to be a dupe for some of the anthropology candles. And then they also have another one that you'll see in a second that has a very detailed packaging, which is also a dupe for an anthropology candle. So the floral section is overflowing and it says that these larger picks are buy two, get three free. They have some really good ones. They have some really bad ones. I'm gonna show you the good ones like this. When I'm looking for greenery and I want it to look very realistic, I tend to go for something like this that isn't a mixed bunch. It's just one kind of greenery. I feel like it looks a lot more authentic that way. This little bush here does have a few different kinds of pine mixed in, but they're all that real touch kind of pine. So I feel like this one passes, passes my criteria at least. 
And with these picks being $10, this one and the last one I showed you, you could get five of them for 20 bucks with the sale. That's really good. This is that Norfolk bush that I showed you guys. It's $10 full price. This is kind of a dupe for the A floral Norfolk stems. This one's a lot shorter, but look how beautiful it is. This is two of the stems in about a four to five inch little vase. It's very full and pretty. I highly recommend those. They also have a longer version of it, but they are out of stock at my store and they have a wreath and a garland online. If you watched my last video, you heard all about it. This is another one that looks really good and this one is incredible. This looks super real. I love the real pine cones on it. It's very long. If you wanted to make some outdoor planters with faux uh, stems, I feel like now's the weekend to go to Joann's and get some. And this looks super real too. This looks exactly like the cedar that I have outside of my house. So a lot of good options here. You just kind of have to pick through, avoid the ones with glitter, avoid the ones that are heavily flocked or just artificial colors and things like that. And you'll be golden. And I just wanted to show you guys these. These are faux dried oranges. I feel like these are nice to craft with if you want to build your own wreath because the obviously the dried ones, they're going to kind of deteriorate over time. But I've never seen these anywhere else and they looked pretty convincing. So I definitely wanted to show them to you guys. Their small picks were really weak this year. Thumbs down from me. I did not see any good ones. But this wreath, you guys, this is the this is the winner of this video. This wreath is so full. It's so realistic. It's pre-lit. It has so much potential that if you wanted to DIY it, it would be so easy to do so. But it's gorgeous on its own. You guys, this is only $60. This is well worth $60, if not more but on sale, this is only going to be 30 bucks. So definitely look into that one. This is another stunner here with all the little gold details, the bells, the stars, the berries. This one is $100, so it'll be $50 on sale. So I'm just really impressed with all of the floral, the wreaths, the decor, everything that I've seen so far. And I think there's still more to come. So I'm going to definitely come back. And if I see anything new and exciting, you guys know that I will share it with you. So what do you guys think of the Joann's Christmas collections? I think they are super nice and I have picked up a thing or two every single year for the past handful of years from Joann's because I just feel like they're a step ahead of the rest. They're ahead of the trends and they come out with really cool concepts, decor pieces that feel unique and high end. So I'm a big fan, but let me know what you think down below and thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in a future video. Bye now.